This is question number 18, 2020, KCSC Mathematics Paper 2. And we are told the table below shows the income uh, tax rate for a certain year. So we are given monthly taxable income in Kenyan shillings, tax rate percentage in each shilling. So from 1 to 11,180, you are charged at a rate of 10%, 10% of that amount. 11,181 to 21,714, you are charged at 15%. 21,715, you are at 32,248, you are charged at 20%. Uh, 32,249, you are at 242,782 at a percentage 25%. Over 40, 42,782, you are charged at 30%. So part A, during the year, Mora's monthly income was as follows. A basic salary of 40,000, house allowance of 11,090, commuter allowance of 7,000. Uh, so calculate A, Mora's total monthly taxable income. Uh, so the taxable income, you add to uh, the basic salary, house allowance, and the commuter allowance. So you say it is 40,000. You add to 11,090, and you add to 7,000 shillings. So that, you, when you use your calculator, you'll be able to get 58,090. So that is the taxable income. Roman number two, total income tax charged on Mora's monthly income. Uh, so for us to be able to do that, I'm going to use this space. Uh, so already the taxable income is 58,090. And uh, for the first bracket, we'll take 11,000. Uh, so I'll use uh, this space. So you are charged at 10%, so this means it is 10 over 100. You multiply by 11,180, uh, and that should give you, when you compute that, you should get 11,118 uh, Kenyan shillings. So that is 10% of that. Uh, we subtract that from this amount, so we get 11,180. Uh, we will be able to get zero. Uh, here you will be able to get one. Uh, here you get nine. Uh, here you get six. And here you get 46. Now, uh, the other rate you are going to subtract. You subtract uh, 21,714. Uh, you subtract 11,180. So that we get the next bracket. When you subtract that, you get 4, uh, this is 3, uh, this is uh, 5, this is 0, and that. So this is the amount that we are going to use for the next bracket. So it, the, 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 the percentage is 15, so you say 15 divided by 100, you multiply by now, we, sub, we multiply by 10,534, uh, you use your calculator you'll be able to get 1580.10 so we subtract this amount from the taxable income that balance so you say it is 10 uh, 534 uh, you subtract that when you subtract that uh, you should be able to get uh, here you get six here you get seven uh, here you get 3, uh, here you get 6, and here you get 3. So we have subtracted the second bracket. If you subtract 32,248, you subtract 21,714, you get the same figure here. Uh, we can do that. 32,248, uh, we subtract uh, 21,000. Uh, this is uh, 714, 714, and this you get for, uh, here you get, 
you get four. Uh, here you get uh, you get uh, three. Uh, here you get five. Uh, here you get zero and you get one. So the same amount. Uh, just to, just to confirm. So that is a figure that you are going to work with. The percentage is twenty. So you say it is twenty over hundred. You multiply by ten thousand five hundred and thirty four. And when you work out that, you will be able to get two thousand one hundred and six uh, and eighty cents. Uh, we subtract the same amount from the balance here, 534, and uh, we will be able to get, when you subtract that, you should be able to get, this is uh, 2, here you get 4, uh, here you get 4, uh, then here you will be able to get uh, uh, 13 minus 5, that will be able to get 8, this is 5, and this is 2. So that is a balance. We also take this, the next level. So we say it is 25 divided by 100. You multiply by 10,534. And that you will, will be able to get, when you multiply that, you will be able to get 2,633.5 or 50 cents. Now we subtract that same amount from 25,800 and 42 we subtract 10,534 so that we get the balance when you subtract that you'll be able to get this is 8 uh, then you, you'll be able to get uh, that is 8 uh, then we have 0 uh, then we have 3 then we have 5 then we have 1 so because now we have come to anything over that of uh, 42,782, you are charged at 30%. Uh, so we, ja we come and say 30%, uh, that is a 30 divided by, divided by 100, multiplied by 15,308. Uh, this is equals to, uh, when you compute that, you should be able to get 4,592 and we have uh, 40 cents so that I this is the tax that will be will be charged now uh, you are supposed to add all this uh, so when you add all that uh, you should be able to get uh, when you add all that you should be able to get 12,000 uh, and 30 and 80 so that is a total income uh, tax charge on Moran's monthly income. Uh, so from there, we go to part B of the question. Part B of the question, we are told, Moran net monthly in tax was 10,750 and 80 cents, determining the monthly tax relief around. Now, uh, if we look at uh, what we have calculated here, we have seen that uh, he was Mora was supposed to pay twelve thousand and thirty and eighty cents, but now he's paying ten thousand uh, seven hundred and fifty and eighty cents. So you take what he was we have calculated uh, twelve thousand and thirty and eighty cents, and we subtract what he's paying, uh, so that we'll be able to get the tax relief. So that is uh, that will be able to get the tax relief. So this is 0, 8 minus 8 is 0, this is 0, uh, 13 minus 5, that will give you 8, uh, then here we have 9, so we have 2, and here we have 1. So it means uh, we have relief was getting to 1,280, and uh, that would be the tax relief. Then we look at per se. But see, we are told a proposal to expand the size of the first income tax band by 50% while retaining uh, the size of the next daily band was made. The tax rate would remain as before in each band. Using the proposal, calculate the tax Mura would pay in the first bracket. So if you look at the, the first bracket, 
it will have calculated using 11,180 but now it was increased by 50 percent so we have 11,180 if it is increased by uh, 50 percent it means it is 150 divided by 100 which will give you 1.5 and you multiply by the charge the charge if you look at the charge it is 10 percent so we have 10 divided by 100 and that will give us the new tax in that band and if you compute that using a calculator you should be able to get 1677 and then from there we have roman number two the tax mora would pay in the last uh, in the last band if you look at uh, what we had calculated the total taxable income is 58,090 so what we do is uh, uh, we say 58,090 we subtract uh, then the first band has changed so the new charge for the first band is 1,677 uh, the amount of the second that is uh, 16,770 uh, that is for the first band uh, we have uh, you calculate 11,180 you multiply by 150 divide by 100 so it has increased by 150 that's why it is getting to uh, 16,770 a uh, 10% of that which is taxed is the one that we are getting 16,700 16, uh, 1,677 so we add the other bra the other band remain the same so we are going to say uh, 10, uh, 10 5, 534 and you multiply by 3 so when you compute this you should be able to get uh, 9,718 so this is a balance that will be found in the f in the last band here so with that we can now be we are it is we are it is being tax charged at 30 percent so we say it is 30 percent of 9718 and you compute that you find in the last band you pay 2915 and 40 so that is uh, the tax that the, the morale will pay in the last band so that's how you work out that question and you should be able to get a total of 10 marks